Hello, hey parents of the United Kingdom and the world. Phonics, I know what you're thinking. Oh my gosh, my child's taken home a book. I've been asked to segment, Sega what? Sega? The only Sega I know is the Sega Master System. Do you remember Sega? Anyway, and then you hear things like, okay, we need you to uh, teach your child the phone names, help them with the phone, phone, phone names? What's a phone name? Segment? Blend? Blend. The only blend I know is Golden Blend. Anyway, okay, so this video is going to help you just to understand a tiny little bit of phonics. And I will try and make this video as short as I can because I know we're all busy, aren't we? All busy. Anyway, so whenever children learn how to read, teachers at school will take them through something called Phase 1 Phonics, which whenever we do it, we just try and get the children to tune their ears in to the sounds they can hear around them through environmental sounds, so they'll try and pick out, you know, um, sounds that cars make, um, bells, um, birds, an aeroplane, uh, crunching in the leaves, that sort of thing. So they um, get to have lots of fun and play uh, games to try and distinguish between those different sounds. We'll do instrumental sounds when they'll play different instruments and be able to uh, make loud sounds, quiet sounds, that sort of thing, adding instruments to stories, to bring stories to life. Body percussion where they'll have to do things like stomp, clap, stomp, 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 clap. And they'll do voice sounds like woo, woo. <laughs> Experiment with making different sounds, get their mouth to move in different ways, <clears throat> because then that will help whenever they have to say things like because a lot of children might say Instead, a lot of children can't say the word the at the minute, they might say the. So they'll do lots of things around voice movement, uh, sorry, making sounds and voices to uh, help them with that. Then they'll do things like alliteration, when we will say words like bat, ball, beaker, and they have to try and hear what sounds at the beginning of those b -b bat, b -b ball, b -b beaker. And they'll hear that it's a b sound. Can you think of anything else with a b sound? Then that'll move on to practicing oral blending. That's just mean, that just means when we talk. We're going to sound words out, which means you split the words up into their sounds. So a child will have to blend those sounds together. So you as an adult might go, oh, what's this word? K -a -t. Leave a little gap when you're sounding it out. K -a -t. Cat. K oh, cat! We all know at the beginning that all you'll say things like k at and they'll go mummy or daddy that sort of thing. So that just needs lots and lots of practice. They don't need to read it because they won't have learned the sounds of the letters of the alphabet yet. It's just using your voice. Uh, when you're around the house, you could say, "Oh, let's uh, can you pass me a k up k up?" Or "Oh, we've got something in the house." Beginning with the sound s, and that might be a s. Spoon. Can they find anything in your house beginning with a? And it might be a hair dryer. And then, so lots and lots of uh, blending. So just sound the words out. That's what you will do. They will practice blending the sounds back together to say the word. Then oral segmenting is when we use our voices to split the words out. Split the words up, sorry. And that is sounding words out, basically. So you'd say, ch -i -p. And that's sounding it out, chip. So they need to be able to practice that too. So that's oral segmenting is when you split it up. Blending is when you push the sound back together again. Then the children will link the sounds to the letters of the alphabet. Now we will have grown up learning A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Those are the letter names. The children will be learning the letter sounds first, okay? The sounds of the alphabet first, not letter names. So they'll be learning A ah for the letter A, B for the letter B and the letter C. So they're going to learn the sounds that each letter of the alphabet makes first. Now, when it comes to saying the sounds, we need to articulate them, which means say them clearly and not add a little bit to the end. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. So when we say things like B, we want the children to go B, not B. And uh, when we say the sound that the letter C makes, we're going to go K, K, not K. Okay, and or not L for L. There's a video on my YouTube you can check out. It's got the signs for each letter of the alphabet so you can practice at home. And we don't things like we don't want things like S, okay? It's not a S, it's S. 
So that was just a quick video talking through bits about phonics. I hope you find that useful.